Imagine coming halfway across a continent to pick up a dog hey. that is going to become a part of your family and a business partner and being told that the dog is on the loose on the tarmac at Pearson. That's what happened to Deanna Cherline on Monday. She came to Toronto to pick up the dog and instead picked up a mess. Take a look. Immediately the panic kind of ensues and they said yes. And he says, you need to come with us. There's been a problem. And I said, is it bad? And he says, it's bad. Understandably so. She says the official didn't tell her anything until they were down on the tarmac. And that is when he said that the crate with her 18-month-old Belgian Malinois, Havoc, inside had fallen from the conveyor belt and burst open and that Havoc was on the loose. Now, she says the baggage handler tried to blame the dog. She says he says that Havoc panicked and knocked the crate off. But she believes they should have used a lift for the crate. Well, evidently, the way they either loaded the crate onto the conveyor belt or the angle was too great or something, or if it was crooked or with the snow, it was snowing, um, something caused it to fall off. At the time, Chorlian says that was the least of her worries. She says the ground crew got her clearance to go onto the field and search for the panicked Havoc who had bolted. They would spend a frantic hour searching as planes roared into the skies and came to screeching landings on the runways. Finally, they spotted him by a blast wall at the end of a runway. She called him once, but he didn't respond. He heard her the second time and made a beeline. I was so surprised um, that he came to me that quickly and that he was uninjured. I was so thankful. Oh, she would still like to see Air Canada and other airlines change their procedure for the handling of live animals to ensure they are loaded safely. According to Swissport, which oversees ground operations at Pearson, the kennels, cages, have to be CSA certified and meet Agriculture Canada regulations in terms of size and construction. Some carriers will wrap a strap to form an X around the kennel to ensure the kennel doesn't open. Some dogs are desperate and panic under the stresses of travel, and if not partially sedated, they can cause damage to a kennel and possibly exit. Or in this case, a kennel can open if dropped. Straps prevent this. Also, precautions must be taken during loading of an AVIH onto an aircraft or transportation between the terminal and the aircraft. And tonight, Air Canada responding to our queries with this answer, quote, we have reached out to the customer to offer our apologies for this unsettling experience, and we will be dealing with the customer directly. We safely transport thousands of animals each year, and we are reviewing this matter to see how this situation arose. Now, as for Havoc, he's on the ground and settling into his new home on the West Coast near Seattle. I get a little teary-eyed and a little frantic when I think about it, but um, no, he's, he's amazing. All right, so Havoc was supposed to be a sled dog, a racing sled dog, but he had a minor injury that meant that he couldn't race. So instead, now he's gone to uh, Seattle, the Seattle area, and he's going to go up and down the coast. He's going to learn to search for bed bugs and be uh, work for the company that Charlene has set up.